Hey everybody, welcome back to another SanTube video. Today we are going to be talking about the Isan Purple Glass Filament. So let's get started. All right, so a little about the filament itself. It came very well packaged. Uh, it was tightly sealed. Um, I like how it comes in the see-through spool instead of the standard black ones that most come in. Only reason is because you can actually see how much filament you have left. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, also, it is certified ROHS. What that basically means is that it does not have any harmful chemicals in here that hurt the environment. So they went a little eco-friendly on that, which was pretty cool, I thought so. Um, also, the temperature for printing this is 190 to 220 in between somewhere there. I found out uh, from personal experience that for me, what works best is around 208 to 210, roughly. Uh, that temperature prints this thing perfectly. Um, the reason I'm actually doing a review on this so late, I was actually supposed to do a review on this back in December. Um, but unfortunately, I did a few prints and I put it on top of my couch and it fell behind it. When I was actually moving things around, I actually found this sitting on the floor roughly around four months later. It was not encased in anything. I did not seal it away airtight, anything like that. So I started doing some more prints to it. And surprisingly, I had no issues whatsoever. Zero. So um, these are some of the prints that I've done here. Uh, let's go and talk about some of these prints. The first one is an iPad or iPhone holder that I did. One thing I really like about this filament is for people that are just starting out, um, there's going to be a few imperfections. You're going to get, you know, while your nozzle is moving from point A to point B, there might be a little bit of oozing, so you see a little stringing, things like that. Uh, this filament, it's very hard to find or visibly see those imperfections. Um, and it comes, still comes out very smooth. So before I continue, for those of you that are just starting out, I would highly recommend any kind of a glass type filament that Isan is selling, uh, whether it be blue glass or in my case, I got the purple glass. Uh, they have all kinds of other uh, brands like this. Now they also have the regular PLA, which is just strictly, uh, you know, plastic, but I would highly recommend just up for the extra two, three bucks, whatever it is, and get this because the finishes that you get out of this guys is phenomenal. Um, so like I said, it's very smooth right off the bat. Uh, there are a few imperfections that you can uh, barely see unless the sunlight hits it, which is the layers that everybody's always talking about when they're new to 3D printing. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I printed that for my daughters. Um, printed a little marble castle right here, as you can see. Uh, this came out pretty well. I honestly don't have any issues with it whatsoever. I mean, it just, it just looks good. And the good thing about this is right when you print, you don't need to paint it or do any kind of prep work to it. You can actually display it. And that brings me to the next thing that I printed, which is this little nifty wine holder, as you can see. Um, this thing came out pretty well. I've made them for a couple of friends and they loved it. And what I did is I also went a little bit smaller on the uh, wall, wall lines or the wall width. And uh, what ends up happening is you get these little cool designs into it as well so you can kind of see through it so this is basically where you're um, depending on what density you pick for infill so if like this one was printed at 20 so at 20 these are the lines that actually got printed inside the model which are visible from the outside and again this is probably the smoothest finish that I've got right off the printer on on anything I mean I wish you could feel it it's basically like a baby's butt <laughs> I mean, if you, if you want to you know go that far to say that but this is another thing that I printed now the only issue I had in the beginning was uh, my support settings weren't that great so when I printed uh, this castle here for my daughters um, it was really hard to remove the supports and because of that I got a really really ugly finish 
So that's the only thing. Uh, well, the other ones you can sand it down and take care of it. This one's a little bit harder to do so with that. But once I got my support settings tuned in, you notice the face right there. Uh, that's actually the whole face was covered by supports. And when I removed these, I had literally no issues whatsoever. There were supports in here as well. Um, so it, it actually came out very, very well. I could have gone a little bit thicker on wall, I guess, um, on this one. So I couldn't really see the inside of uh, the infill, but it actually came out pretty well. So this one I might actually paint. But this is basically for all you CR10 guys out there. It just sits over your control box like, like so. It's just something I saw online and I thought it was pretty cool. So you can get this on Thingiverse. And I'll put a link to all of these down below. Okay, guys. But that's basically it, guys. I mean, this this film, it, I was very happy with. Um, I can't say really anything bad about it. I would highly recommend this for people that are just starting out. Uh, and for people that have been printing for a while, it gives you a nice finish right off the bat. There's no prep work. Um, everything is displayable right from the beginning, depending on your support settings, like this one here. The diameter that actually... Um, quote on the box is accurate uh, throughout I measured it and it's consistent all the way through according to what they've said the Esun purple glass filament I am very happy with this and I will definitely buy this again maybe in a different color um, they do have the regular PLA as well which I haven't tested out yet but I opted for the purple glass just to see what the difference would be and I was really happy with it well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on the East Sun Purple Glass Filament. Um, I was very happy with this product. Um, I really like the fact that you can print and just display right off the bat without any kind of prep work. Um, also, they're very accurate to what they describe. The environmental safe features that they have on here or the chemicals they use um, doesn't harm anything. I like that as well. I will maybe next time opt for this the regular PLA, uh, not a glass version. And uh, maybe I can talk to you guys about that down the line. So with all that said, my recommendation is I would definitely opt to get this, spend a little bit extra, uh, especially for those of you, again, that are just starting out. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. You know I get back to every single one of you guys. And also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go and do so. There's new content out every week. And if you like the video, thumbs up. If you did it, well, hey, it is what it is. Give it a thumbs down. And um, like always, guys, good luck and happy printing.